Steve! <laughs> Every Dungeon of Doom member. Do it. <laughs> Slamboree 95, the master summoned Kevin Sullivan to trek through the woods and after drinking from the Goblet of Darkness, imbued with the red and yellow as the taskmaster, he crossed the line between everyday villainy and cartoonish supervillainy. Oh yeah. Tasked to create a merry band of jobbers to end Hulkamania. First part of call was to enlist his former Three Faces of Fear friends, the Avalanche, regrissoned. Shark. And the Butcher, now known as... The Zodiac. On Baywatch, <laughs> Vader teamed with fellow heels Flair and Taskmaster to take out the Mega Powers, so why not dip into the dungeon for a bit? The Ugandan Giant... Kamala. And the Laughing Man... Hugh Morris. ...were hired by WCW specifically to join the faction. Colonel Parker's bodyguard Meng was given a golden spike for his sins, and pride barbarian away from Colonel Parker's stable and his super assassin tag partner. The giant exploded from the walls of the Dungeon of Doom's lair, the son of Andre pledging to end Hulkamania. Halloween Havoc 95 bequeathed three new members. We found out Lex Luger was only friendly with the Mega Powers thanks to Sting and heel turned at the pay-per-view. Snagging Lex brought Luger's manager Jimmy Hart on board. Moments later, <laughs> made his historic debut and bummed the baby faces with an intimate hug. <laughs> he was immediately given the boot and repackaged as Super Giant Ninja, whom one man gang beat, entering the Dungeon of Doom as US champion and jobber fodder for Hogan. February 96, Giant Haystacks beached on WCW's shores <laughs> as Loch Ness. Tonight's Uncensored being his only WCW match. Same with two actors, Z Gangster and Ultimate Solution, brought in as a one-shot deal. Obviously, Zeus was in No Holds Barred with Hogan, but fun fact, the next year, Ultimate Solution played Bane in Batman and Robin. Wow. Really? So there's Bane. Wow. <laughs> He leaves the door open for a milestone vignette. The Dungeon of Doom go to Gotham. Oh. Literally, Warner let them film on Batman and Robin's back alley set. Awesome. Taskmaster! What's the password? It's the end of the line. That's where you are wrong. Get wrong. We see Jimmy Hart convince. Max Muscle to enroll. Maximum Muscle. He was lost. He broke away from DDP, turned face. <laughs> <laughs> so his, here's a chance to turn heel, do something else. And Taskmaster unveiled the boss man, Big Bubba Rogers, who was incensed after being kicked out and embarrassed by the NWO. But that's not all. To combat the horseman's Wolverine, Chris Benoit, Taskmaster opened door number two, revealing Braun the Leprechaun. Sarge, uh, the wrestler who was billed as 5 foot 10 inches <laughs> in a leprechaun gimmick. Fuck's sake. And finally, coming out of a too short doorway, the giant! <laughs> Again! <laughs> oh. Saying there was no way out from Hogan, leaving the NWO to rejoin Dungeon 2.0, which had gone from campy cartoony villains to campy henchmen. All right, we got two left. At this point, Dungeon of Doom were fading away. Conan lost the US title to Flair, and the ailing faction snapped him right up. And finally, Sullivan hired some new female muscle in Jacqueline. And so there you go, 22 members of the Dungeon of Doom. Tasked to bring Doom upon Hulkamania. They did no such thing. <laughs> A glorious faction. I fucking love them. They're so bad. <laughs> 